One of the main design criterias that we have uh, and one of the main issues is I and I or inflow infiltration. Uh, water tries to make its way into traditional rings and covers and without any type of gasket seal you're going to have uh, water and liquids penetrate through the ring and then go up underneath the cover and then make their way into the sewer system. So one of the things that we engineered the unit to have built into it is a rubber uh, ring uh, ring and cover seal between the ring and cover with a rubbered gasket. So there is a groove that is notched out in between the plastic um, ring unit here and it sits into this ring and seals the rubber into this so when the weight and the locking me mechanisms seals the ring to the cover you have a watertight mechanism that doesn't allow infiltration into the unit. Uh, this meets the uh, criteria by TCQ which the language uh, in the design engineering specifications says uh, the unit has a means of preventing inflow and uh, this unit meets and, and basically exceeds that. If you wanted extra protection, uh, one additional thing you could do is run a, a bead of butyl tape completely around the entire unit. It's about a quarter inch of butyl tape and then once you were to seal that would give you a double redundancy to ensure uh, water tightness, but as it sits, the uh, the unit has the rubber gasketed material between the ring and the cover, and that's how we uh, achieve the uh, the water tightness with this unit.